Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of What Did You Think? Uh, this is my opportunity to reply to some of the comments on a Facebook post that I had made um, in a more personal way because I think all of you guys took the time to try and remember when you had met me or what impression I had left. So this was the post. So picking up where we left off, Patrick Mosel. You know already, but I definitely thought that I needed to dance with you. I saw you dancing with Terry and your partner Merck. Musicality together was just insane. Uh, sweet young dancer and very, very fun to dance with. Um, he's got a little bit of Zouk influence and sensual bachata to him. So there are some different movements in the salsa than would happen with like the average person. And I don't remember when it was when we first danced. I think it was at Salsa Mania at Danceport. I just remembered having so much fun with you. If it was our first dance, I can't recall, but I remember having so much fun with you that you were always smiling and you might have to cut your hair because it was constantly like trying to get your hair out of your face or flipping your hair back. Um, but I remember having so much fun dancing with you and I remember asking you to dance again that same night. I don't know who asked who the first time, but I remember asking you again. And I always love seeing you out. I don't see you out as much anymore, but I love seeing you out and I love dancing with you. So thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, Jimmy Wardman, it was on the Asian Salsa Cruise. I asked for the dance, but you asked for West Coast Swing. Um, so that was actually an interesting time. We were on this cruise, I think it was 2009, if I'm not mistaken, or 10. Again, my memory is pretty garbage, so I don't remember exactly when it was. I remember being on this cruise, and I, it was the first time I had met Jordan and Tatiana, and I'd never even heard of West Coast Swing, but they had taught a beginner's class, and I did that class. Jordan, I remember him saying, like, salsa's not, he'd been watching me dance, and he was like, salsa's not your dance. I was like, please don't say that too loudly, because everyone else here thinks it's my dance, that's why I have a career in it. And he's like, no, 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 it's your way of moving and it's your ability to shift quickly and it's your ability to uh, generate momentum that's very West Coast swinging. And so I guess, Jimmy, you must have been like taking the classes too. And I guess whenever you ask me for a salsa, I'm like, no, 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 I want to dance West Coast. I want to practice and see how I would do with that. And it's always a pleasure to see you. I remember seeing you again in Australia and Sydney and you're, you're so much fun. Thank you for all the lifts. <laughs> Chris Wood, I was thinking, what, someone who just wants to play with the music? Heart, heart, heart. Chris, you have a special place in my heart. I don't think I have a big enough space in my heart because you're kind of tall. You're like six foot, I don't know, six foot four or something. So you don't completely fit in there, but um, you have a special place in my heart. Chris Wood is a dancer who I met in Vancouver or possibly Toronto, but he's from Vancouver. And he is absolutely hilarious. One of the funniest people who usually get gets me with a lot of jokes. But I remember this one time that I had gotten him with a very excellent knock knock joke. I recommend you try it on someone who will not slap you in the face, um, but who will appreciate your humor and who has not watched this video to know what the joke is. Basically, it is knock knock. If you don't know how it is, it's knock knock. This person says, "Who's there?" You say. Um, oh my gosh, my joke delivery is terrible. Let me start that again. What is a knock knock joke? Crap. I have a feeling that this is exactly what happened with Chris Wood too, where I was like, I have a joke for you. And then I forgot the joke. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, good. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so you have knock knock, who's there? Interrupting starfish. And as the person's about to say interrupting starfish, who, you take your face and you face palm them. Interrupting starfish. Five star fish. No, don't get it. Maybe you get it. Maybe you're laughing. Maybe you're saying, Magna, you already lost me when you tried to explain the joke before you told the joke. Anyways, it was funny. He laughed and uh, we have that as something between us to always share and laugh about. Chris, I miss you. Uh, I always love dancing with you and I always love seeing you in general. You're just a great person to be around. Bro Rush, uh, I cannot wait to tell everyone I knew I danced with the one and only Magna Vocal. I was on Cloud Cloud 9. Earl is a legend and one of the first pioneers in DC's salsa community. 
and he can throw down it like James Brown and, and all that stuff. I don't know what kind of dance background you had, Earl, but you're always funky. Thanks for thanks for sharing, and it was good times. <laughs> Rumen Caravale, I was waiting for you. Finally, when we danced, I hit you in the head while turning. I haven't felt so embarrassed. New York Salsa Congress 2013. You know, the good thing, Ruben, is that I don't remember. Either it wasn't that bad or you hit me so hard that I actually, you, you jogged my memory. <laughs> I'm joking, it's, it's probably not bad. And trust me, I have hit some people on the first time dancing with them and people who I've seen on a repeat basis and hit them and like broke their nose by accident and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, you're good. All right. Giovanni Medellin. I thought, what is the, who is this for reals? Okay. I see you, but for real, I thought you were going against most things I had learned Then it all made sense. That's also pretty common, I guess, in terms of what people think of my dancing. Uh, there's this confusion as to what it represents because it's, not your traditional and not your conventional way of dancing, especially for women in the community. But I'm glad that it all made sense eventually. And Giovanni, I have to say thank you for your friendship over the years. Thank you for opening doors and, and creating opportunities where I was able to come down to Columbia, to South Carolina, and to, um, to teach and to share that wisdom and knowledge. And thanks for creating those platforms that really encourage the kind of philosophical growth of the community as well. Um, Giovanni's a beautiful dancer and a lovely person who used to organize events in Columbia, South Carolina. I'm not sure if he's still organizing events, but if you are, count me. <laughs> Michael Lee, March 2008 it was a long time ago, but the fact that I can remember the month and the year ought to tell you something. Indeed, it does. Uh, I appreciate you remembering it. I'm glad that it was enough to put a smile at the end of that comment. <laughs> Thank you. Isaiah Metters, angels really do exist. Didn't have the courage or confidence to ask you 20 years ago. Maybe our paths will cross again. Thank you for inspiring the millions. Well, Isaiah, if you just introduce yourself, I assure you, you do not need the courage to ask me to dance. I will just ask you. Charlotte, a control of a gravitational force coming from another galaxy coupled with an extra genius musicality. Uh, that is a beautiful way to put things. I appreciate that. The, the more you dance and the more you try to connect with another person, I feel it, it really can improve your technique. You know, we've spent so much time learning actual technical skills, but in fact, when you actually think about connecting with another person, you will find the technique necessary to connect because your goal is connection and not just executing a certain move or executing um, something that you learned in class in a setting that's a controlled environment, but rather connecting with another person. So that would be what I would uh, attribute my control of the gravitational force and this, uh, arriving from another galaxy. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, so we will leave it at that for today's edition. I am going to attend to all of those other comments that I had expanded at the bottom there. Again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to even ponder the thought of when you might have met me or when you had seen me dance or when we had danced for the first time. And that's why I am doing this. What do you, what did you think edition so that I can share that appreciation back with you guys. Catch you guys on the next edition.